Hakuna matara and welcome to Dayben Gaming. Yes, it's been a while, but we're here. Starting with Minecraft. Episode 1. So I start off basically by collecting some wood as you would at the beginning. Fun highly intended by the way. Now after getting abundant amounts of wood, I made a pick a wooden pickaxe and grabbed some stone. Okay, so as soon as I managed to get my necessary stone tools, I ventured off. Apparently, I lost some footage of um, me between now and here, between that time that we cut and here. And so far, what actually happened is I got uh, dug into a cave, found some iron and made a shield. So here is me venturing down the cave. Okay, so here's me having found some lapis. Now, lapis is very essential when it comes to enchanting your items, giving them uh, abilities of some sort to enable them to become a bit stronger against, uh, you know, to do some certain tasks. Now, content with whatever I got in that cave, I decided to venture out like the explorer. I sometimes uh, uh, some piece of water fresh air. Okay, don't mind that. So now I took some pumpkins because the last I checked, there should be a villager who trades them. And here's me, a time lapse of me just going about looking for, yeah, a, a place to settle. On my way, I found a ruined portal. This portal had some good stuff. I'm seeing a pawn tree, chest plate, and a, it was a looting pickaxe if I'm correct, yeah. And I took the gold block and decided to continue my journey, searching for a place to call home. Now, if you look to my right, there's a, an azalea bush. Now, this azalea bush, thank God I uh, I took a screenshot. There's a lush cave right next to it. And if you see the time lapse, there's a brief snippet of it. So, we'll come back to that later. So, I continued on with, uh, what's it called, with my search. And, of course, using the ice to my advantage to speed up my movement. When you shift and you also jump, it's a bit faster. And twice as faster when you use the boot. So, I decided that this would actually be where I'd call home. A small island in the middle of ice. Just standing on its own next to spruce trees. I mean, and spruce does give quite a lot of wood. So now, I began organizing myself to build. So the first undertaking of the build was the walls. So I started with the corners, which I was going to make out of uh, spruce wood and then proceeded to clear up a bit and use cobblestone as the main part of the wall, the wall itself now. Once it reached night, I slept for the first time in Minecraft. The next day began with me crafting a piece of what, an, uh, the iron nuggets into an iron bar yeah so for this day i decided to start with collecting some glass i need a glass for the windows okay so now what i decided to do next after getting i got the sand i required so i decided to make a shovel so i can dig the floor now this floor i decided to make using wood spruce yeah spruce slabs which would uh, act as the flooring for, for the house collected some wood made some more slabs and proceeded covering the holes i left So that's when I actually decided to finally begin smelting the glass, the sand, gosh, not the glass, the sand, and also clear up some trees which were hanging around. So once the glass finished smelting, I made glass pins, which you make by forming a 2 by 3 Do you know my goal length times width or width times length? Okay, I believe it's 3 by 2 yes, on a crafting table to finally make a glass. Though I came up with one hiccup, one hiccup emerged is that glass panes occupy half a block and they wouldn't inter they wouldn't complete themselves if they are directly connected to wood so i decided to cover up that space around the door with some spruce slabs 
after some time i decided to use the remaining slabs to go around the what's it called the roof to act as a ring around the roof however uh yeah they proved few and i got a friend yes i got a friend a wandering trader emerged so i slept another night and i woke up to continue with the ring around the roof I made a stone cutter that would actually save me some materials when I when it came to actually making the roof itself which I actually decided to go with a cobblestone stair roof yes and a bit of uh, what's it called spruce spruce logs yes so I made up the roof which was a uh, a painful exercise and slept uh, slept day 3 having not yet completed it so I completed it after some time, after a lot of stress collecting wood and all, and I was so proud with the outcome. I did the flooring on the top, collected some more wood, and finished up the ceiling that would act as the second floor to the building. And I slept again. Yeah. So I figured out that the door arc, that whatever it's called, the surrounding of the door looked funny, so I decided to add wood locks. I connected the ceiling, yes, the ceiling with the ground floor so the first floor and the ground floor then i finished the first floor windows of course in glass beans however another idea came into my mind and i decided to tear down that precious glass collect some more wood make some stairs uh, not some stairs some slabs finish it up added some fencing because uh if you see across the video i have been falling down more often than not especially when i was doing the roof Added some torch, some torch, yes, some torches for lighting. So I lighted up everything and uh, yeah, stood there proud of my work. Made a pathway, looked at my work, just admiring. The building looks actually nice. First floor, second floor, gosh, not first floor, second floor, ground floor, first floor, yes, that is the way we actually do things. Ground floor, first floor. Now to show you a tour. So you enter the front door, look around, there's still some space for improvement. I got a smoker, got some two furnaces, some chests with some good stuff, nice crafting table. There's a good arc there, you know, around the door. Then you climb up to the second floor, to the first floor. You have a good sleeping area. Put my bed there actually, my white bed. I may actually color it a different color, maybe brown or something. You choose, you guys tell me. And one more thing I wanted to do is, uh, this place needs a name. Deciding on a name, which I'll actually need you guys to help me out with a name to, for this place. So I decided to build sort of, uh, you know how houses have these, I don't know what you call them actually. You have these, around like next to the gate, you have this showing this house number and address sort of, yeah. So ask me what we'll do. And as always, Hakuna Matata, God bless you and continue to have a wonderful time.